Good morning. Welcome to the first in my series of videos about the 10 tags of Halloween. Now yesterday I made my first tag, this really cool spooky purple one. And as promised, I'm going to show you how I made it. But we're going to try it with blue just to see what happens. What you need to, to make this tag are two different colors of ink, or you can use three that are complementary. Now I'm using Pacific Point and Marina Mist and we'll see how that works. You need watercolor paper, water, a non-stick craft mat, a paper towel, salt, shimmer mist, and I have a glove on my hand. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open your stamp pads and on your craft sh sheet you're going to apply some ink directly from the pad to the shrink, to the sheet. Now after you've got that done, take and spritz it generously with water. Try to keep the colors a little bit separate if you can. Okay, now that you have it spritzed, take your glove finger and kind of mix up your water and your paint and your ink. Like I say, try to keep the two colors a little bit separate if you can. Now you have this what looks like a big mess. You're going to take your watercolor paper and you're going to place it in your ink. Take it off and isn't that cool? Now you're going to move it around a little bit. Get it all inked up. Try to get the whole piece of paper covered. Now when you look at it, you'll see that there's all different kinds of shades in there. This is what you're looking for. This might not look spooky like my purple one did, but we'll see what happens. Now take and wipe your mat off so that you have somewhere to work. You can take your finger and if you have too much of one color in an area or you want to move it around, feel free to do so. Now you have that all inked up and it looks kind of cool right now, but you can take it up a step. Spray it with a little bit more water. You want it pretty good and wet. Move it around until you get the effect you want. Now you're going to take your salt, just regular table salt, and you're going to shake it on it. Now this is an old technique, and I haven't seen it used much lately, but it does give a cool effect. Once you have enough salt on your paper, maybe the same as you'd put on french fries, you're going to let it dry. Now I experimented and using a heat tool did not work as well. The best thing to do is leave it there and let it dry naturally. So I'm going to come back in a few minutes and we'll see what happens. You see those same little modelly channels in the blue. Maybe they're not quite as spooky because they maintained their blueness and didn't turn quite so purple. Or didn't turn quite so black, excuse me. And there you have a really cool model background. But I thought I'd like to take it up a notch and I used my shimmer spritz that I'd made and I spritzed it. Now here you can use your heat tool because there's no more chemical reaction to be had. So let's heat set it. Be careful I didn't knock that salt off so it's going to fly everywhere. You 
have exactly the same background, but now it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. You see those model lines. You see where there's been a reaction. You see the different colors. And you have a cool background to use on any color of card. You could try greens and maybe use it for Christmas. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. And tomorrow I'll have my next tag. And the following day I'll have a video for it. Thank you so much. Bye.